Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. We're hopping into a new movie reaction. This time, Tim Burton's Corpse Bride. We're in the spooky season right now. Halloween is upon us. Um, I'm, gonna, I'm addressing you guys over on Patreon. I haven't decided if I'm actually going to be cutting this up and putting it on YouTube yet. So if you are seeing this on YouTube, hello. So um, yeah, this is a surprise movie reaction. I'm also kind of debating if I want to sneak another Halloween movie in there. Um, but we'll guess we'll see. We'll cross that bridge when we get there. As far as this movie goes, it's marketed or at least it's billed as Tim Burton's Corpse Bride. Now, did he actually direct this? Because I feel like he gets credit for uh, The Nightmare Before Christmas, which is also another one of my favorite movies, especially from Tim Burton. He gets a lot of credit for that, even though he did not direct it. I forget who exactly directed directed The Nightmare Before Christmas, but Tim Burton gets the credit for it because it is like his vision, his style, his like whatever, but he didn't actually direct it. Here it says Tim Burton's Corpse Bride. I'm gonna assume he directed it until I see otherwise, but it's a short movie, like roughly, not even 80 minutes, um, you know, opening to, to close, but should be a quick uh, quick ride. I don't really know what to expect outside of someone literally marries a corpse, which is kind of weird. But I am interested in seeing what this vision is, you know, especially since it's kind of like in the same type of animation, such as The Nightmare Before Christmas. Like, once again, I do have to reiterate, I really, really do enjoy that movie. You can watch it on Halloween. You can watch it for Christmas. It's just a really cool movie. So I'm guessing this is a Halloween movie because it is kind of advertised under HBO Max's. That's where I'm watching, by the way, on HBO Max. It's advertised under like the Halloween picks. And someone did um, uh, recommend this over on uh, Patreon. So, And uh, it gave me an excuse to actually just sit back and watch. So I'm, I'm interested. And not much else I want to say other than... I want to enjoy the film, and if you guys are enjoying this as well, just in case I do put this on YouTube, I do want to say, if you guys want to watch this video with me in its entirety and avoid the YouTube highlights, hop on over to Patreon. There you'll find uncut, unedited, early access, all that good stuff. If any of that interests you, of course, you're under no obligation to support me over there. If you can, you can always support me right here on YouTube. All you gotta do is drop a like, comment down below, which wants me to react to next. Subscribe if you haven't already. It's free. And of course, share it with your friends. Helps you, helps me, helps the channel grow. Everybody wins in the end. That being said, let's hop into this movie and have a good time and talk about Amelia afterwards. That, And um, yeah, I don't know where I was going with that, but let's do it, guys. Here we go. It's PG. What was the Nightmare Before Christmas? Because they do some out-of-pocket shit in that movie. See, I love this animation. It's like, it's... Oh, Johnny Depp. Naturally. Naturally. Helena Bonham Carter. Naturally. The animation looks great. It doesn't even look as, like, jittery. Oh, Christopher Lee? Oh, nice. R.I.P. I believe he's, um... Yeah, I believe he's gone. See, I love all the weird-looking characters. Danny Elfman. Yes, this is like bringing all that type of nostalgia back to me. I love this. <laughs> Can't have that. In this uh, very muted colored town. Nothing vibrant here. and I don't like each other. As if that has anything to do with marriage. Do you suppose your father and I like each other? Uh, it'd be nice. I certainly hope the winner this time, Victor. Now all you have to do is reel her in. I'm already reeling, Mother. I always knew I deserved better than a fish merchant's life. <laughs> May you silence that blast. What a very cosy family. Warm and inviting. Lord and Lady Everglot, Mr. and Mrs. Van Dort. So he's like a pianist, right? So what happens to her? Does she die? How is the corpse thing coming to play? I play beautifully, Miss Everglot. You could call me Victoria. <laughs> yes, of course. 
Victor and Victoria. Huh, interesting. Let's just pick it up at the candle. Yes. Yes, sir. She lights his candle. I like that. Oh, right. My God, what is up with this with guy? I will. Oh, three steps. Three. Jesus. Do you not wish to be married, Master Van Dort? No, no. It seems very. No, I meant no. I do not not wish to be married. Oh, this is awkward. Why is this so awkward? Have you even remembered to bring the ring? The ring. Yes. Oh my God. Is he gonna like Jar Jar Binks it? Dun dun dun. Oh, oh it's way too soon. The ring. No, he's dropped the oh. ring. This boy doesn't want to get married. This wedding cannot take place until he is properly prepared. Okay. Well, he's quite the catch, isn't he? She likes him. She reminds me of, um, God, what was the character's name in The Nightmare Before Christmas? Was it Sally? She reminds me of Sally a little bit. It really shouldn't be all that difficult. It's just a few simple vows. Come on, buddy. Get it together. I will cup your... What? Oh, goodness, no. What happens here? Maybe he dies. No, but it's called Corpse Bride. Hmm, I don't know. Your cup will never empty, for I will be your wife. There you go. Look at that. Swag. Mrs. Everglot, you look ravishing this evening. What's about to go wrong? With this ring, I ask you to be mine. Ooh, that's creepy looking. Is that an actual hand? Oh, shit. Wait. Oh, he literally marries a corpse. What? Oh shit. She kinda bad, not gonna lie. <laughs> okay, now she reminds me more of Sally from uh The Nightmare Before Christmas. She has a cool design. That's that's neat. Ooh, that's kinda creepy. She's just gonna appear out of nowhere. Hi honey, I'm home. There it is. Mm. Oh, the imagery is so cool, though. Ooh. Um. Do I have to? A new arrival. He must have fainted. Are you all right? Where the hell are we? To the newlyweds. So, are we in the afterlife in the somewhere? Woods, you said your vows. I did. Yeah, like I'm gonna need that bag. Wake up! Wake up! What's going on here? Where am I? Who are you? That's kind of a long story. What a story it is. Get it, boys. I'm really admiring the animation. It's probably my favorite part about these type of movies. Then next to the graveyard by the old oak tree On a dark foggy night at a quarter to three And, and then? then? <laughs> and then, baby, everything went black. Damn. That's why, that's why her hand was sticking out. Ask for her hand. What are the odds, though? Holy shit. I mean, she's not ugly. <laughs> I mean, I'd have to get used to the whole bone arm thing. Ugh. I didn't really notice that she has, like, missing stuff here. Like, oh, man. Hey, hey, hey! Victor Van Dort seen this night on the bridge in the arms of a mystery woman! Another widow. Damn. Mystery woman? He doesn't even know any women. Or so you thought. Yeah, player. Victor got that P on tap. Feel me? Good heavens, Phyllis, what should we do? Fetch me musket. The town crier probably just had a slow news day. You know how it is? You need something to cry about. Regardless. It's like every day these days. Everybody crying about something. Victor, where have you gone? Okay, I'll keep an eye out for him. He's, he's getting away. Quick, quick, after him. Anyone thing with the eye, like, ugh, it's so gross to me. Victor? <laughs> she fell for the. Where are you I'm a widow. Oh, ah, he funny. Went, he went that way. <laughs> got, <laughs> got ratted out by the spider. Please, there's been a mistake. Huh? I'm 
not dead. You. This um reminds me of Coco. If you guys haven't seen that movie, check it out. Also, if you have seen it, check out my reaction to. What are you grabbing onto? Could have used the stairs, silly. Oh. Damn. You just can't outrun this girl. She's nice though. She's not like scary. Look, I am terribly sorry about what's happened to you, and I'd like to help, but I really need to get home. I don't even know your name. Mm -hmm. It's Emily. Oh, I almost forgot. I have something for you. It's a wedding present. What is it? <gasps> is it a dog? <laughs> Yay! Cool! <laughs> Scraps. <laughs> this is cool. I knew you'd be happy to see him. Roll over. Roll over. Good boy, Scraps. Play dead. <laughs> Play alive. I don't know. <laughs> Mother never approved of Scraps jumping up like this. You're lucky you'll never have to meet her. Well, actually, I think you should. You should definitely meet her. Mm -hmm. And my father, too. Where are they? Oh, they're still alive. We need to go up. Upstairs? Oh, my dear. Please? Why go up there when people are dying to get down here? That's funny. It means so much to me. Us? Let me see what I can do. But does he not realize it's going to break her heart, but she's dead, so... I mean, she still has feelings. I don't know. Ready? Just remember, when you want to come back, say hopscotch. Scotch. Do you both have to say it, or does one person say it and they go back and... Hold on, hold on. I think I should prepare mother and father for the big news. You waiting here. Don't, aw, oh, this is mean. Be right back. Okay. Have a heart, you son of a bitch. I mean, she has a corpse. I don't know. What would I do? What would you do? I have a bad feeling about that boy. Victor's gone to see his parents, just like he said. I'm sure he has a perfectly good reason for taking so long. Why don't you go ask him? All right, I will. After all, he couldn't get far with those cold feet. Hmm. Fuck. Yeah, but once you hit town, there should be like a bunch of footsteps, right? It's like, so, the ring, I kind of gave it to Victoria. a dead lady. Victoria, I'm so happy to see you. Where have you been? Are you alright? Yeah, how do I explain this? Victor. Hmm, but you don't even know each other. You know more about the corpse or <gasps> Emily. That's scary as fuck. Awkward! Who's this? Who is she? I'm his wife. Victor? Victoria, wait, you don't understand. She's dead. Look. Don't disrespect her like that, bro. Oh, Holy shit! Oh, Victoria! Ooh, that was scary. Don't you understand? You're the other woman. What? Don't tell her that. I mean, it's technically true, but don't. Oh. She's got a point. Fuck. In a different circumstances, well, who knows? But we're just too different. You're dead. I'm alive. You should have thought about that before you asked me to marry you. Yeah, Why well, I didn't know. It was a mistake. I would never marry you. Ah, oh, don't say that. Aw. I'm going to go back to being dead. Maybe we are. Maybe he should have his head examined. I could do it. Well, perhaps he does belong with her. Little Miss Living. <laughs> You've got a wonderful personality. I believe that. She seems pretty cool. And that silly little creature isn't wearing his ring. And she doesn't play piano. Or, or dance. dance. Or sing. Mm, you can see her teeth in there. Oh, that's a cool detail. Miss Everglot. What are you doing here? Can the living marry the dead? What on earth are you speaking about? Please, it's Victor. He has a corpse bride. 
There must be some way to undo what's been done. Like an annulment? I believe I know the thing to do. Her mind has come undone, I fear. It's not true! Let me go! Let me go! Thank you, Pastor Goldswell. Victor needs my help! Hildegard, you believe me, don't you? Mother, father, please. Um, you sound crazy. Marvelous news, Victoria. There'll be a wedding after all. Make haste, my dear. Our relatives will run out right now. Any moment. We must have you looking presentable for Lord Barkis. But I do not love him. You cannot make me do this. We must. Please, I beg of you. There must be another way. We shall marry Lord Barkis tomorrow. Huh. You have only to suffer this union until death do us part. We shall be soon. That will come sooner than you think. Yeah. Because he's an asshole. Put down the, the smokes, my guy. Oh, shit. He's dead. Is he going to find them here? Oh, she's so sad. I'm sorry I lied to you about wanting to see my parents. They can play together and make music and magic, all that good stuff. <laughs> Pardon my enthusiasm. I like your enthusiasm. They're cute. Is this weird? It's not weird, right? Oh, God. What's going on? Dead. I'm so sorry. Oh, yeah. Actually, though, I, I feel great. I have to get back. You all must be very sick. How is everyone? Well, um, they're moving on, my guy. They're moving on. She's getting married this evening. What? Married to who? I guess they didn't want to waste the cake. Yeah. It's <laughs> <laughs> a good enough reason. With this candle. I will light your way in darkness. <clears throat> Jesus Christ. With this ring, I ask you to be mine. How romantic. <laughs> I'm too late. Yeah. Might as well make do with your uh, beautiful corpse bride. Bride of bones. My dear. What? <laughs> there is a complication with your marriage. Death has already parted you. There must be something you can do. It requires the greatest sacrifice. What is it? <laughs> we have to kill him. What? Jesus Christ. This is dark. And drink from the wine of ages. <laughs> Poison. I could never ask him. You don't have to. I'll do it. Really? If you choose this path, you can't unchoose it. To the yeah. I do. I mean, for the sake of the story, I like this, but I'm just like, damn, everything you're giving up? Follow us. We're moving this wedding party upstairs. Upstairs? Let's go! Wedding! Wedding! You can't get married looking like that. I'm gonna have to weave him a new suit. Let's see her. Oh, what a cake. Jesus. It's like all wobbling, like gelatinous. Versus that cake. Jesus. Eat that motherfucker in one bite. Look how dead, ironically, this party is. While the dead are living it up downstairs. That's so crazy. Serendipity brought us. Damn, look at her face. She's just like. And no force on earth could tear us apart. Oh, that's creepy. Oh, God. Imagine seeing that. There's an eye in me soup. In me soup. Where do you keep this 
spirits. <laughs> My purse. I don't know you. Man, you just need to show me you're not afraid. I don't know. Grandpa? Ah, there you go. No, ah, sniffing butts. We're going to take whatever money we can. Get out of here. Shut up. My parents don't have any money. It's my marriage to you that will save them from the poorhouse. It isn't true. Tell me that you're lying. Did things you... not go according to your plan? Yeah, wait, you didn't know this? What? Perhaps in disappointment we are perfectly matched. We're doing it right. I low-key like this. This is cool. I can't believe Victor's going through with this though. This is crazy. But for the sake of the story, you know. But I'm just saying. I don't know if I would do it, but... Dearly beloved and departed, we are gathered That's funny. today to join this man in this course in marriage. Ah, uh, this is gonna break her heart. Victor? Shh. Your cup will never empty, for I will be your wife. Your cup will never empty. She's crying. Bride? I will be your wife. Yeah. What's wrong? This is wrong. My dreams were taken from me. Not now. Now I've stolen them from someone else. Aw, damn. I don't know. I'm kind of conflicted about this. I mean, I don't dislike Victoria, but I'm just saying. How touching. But you forget. She's still my wife! Oh, that's right. Can we kill him? You. Wait. Emily. Are you fucking kidding? I left you. The dead. <laughs> Sorry to cut things short, but we must be on our way. Do I have to kill you too? The dead! A fork? Really? <laughs> right in the ass. Oh, damn. Oh, shit. I didn't expect a fight scene like this. Pretty badass. But first, a toast to Emily. Tell me, my dear, can a heart still break once it's stopped beating? <laughs> See, not know that's poison. Freeway? <laughs> I don't know. That'd be so weird. You kept your promise. You set me free. Oh man. Now I can do the same for you. All right, guys, so that was Tim Burton's Corpse Bride. Surprisingly, really good movie. Actually, not surprisingly. I was actually really into it, and I knew going into the movie that I was going to be into it, especially since it was just that artistic style, just that Tim Burton kind of gloss over everything, like just the character designs, the art direction, the cinematography, the music, the characters. Everything just kind of feels like 
a Tim Burton movie, like how you would expect it to like kind of play out and kind of feel. So I wasn't disappointed at all. The only thing I was disappointed about was the fact that this movie was so damn short. Was The Nightmare Before Christmas this short? I don't think so. I'm super kind of surprised that this movie was as short as it was, considering, like, did this get a theatrical release? Like, doesn't, like, don't movies have to be a certain length to get a theatrical release? Or maybe it's just because it was Tim Burton attached to the project that they're like, fuck it, release it. We'll, we'll, we'll make money off of it. But I really like the design of everything here. The storyline was really neat. I didn't exactly know how we were going to, like, incorporate the corpse aspect to it. But the fact that it was just kind of very magical and kind of fantastical in the way where, he would, like, we have Victor's character just kind of out in the woods, kind of, like, trying to recite the vows. And he kind of just happens to practice on a tree branch, a tree branch that looks like a hand, kind of like this. And he puts the ring on. And then we kind of figure out, oh, shit, it's an actual hand there's an actual corpse bride there waiting for her man to come back you know what i mean so there's a lot of like really neat storytelling like points in this movie and i really wish we kind of got a little bit more just to kind of expand on it but my favorite character like was had to have been the corpse bride herself emily just because i kind of felt for her i really liked her story and I was kind of hoping that she was going to get that happy ending at the end. But I do understand where her character was coming from because she kind of related it to herself. She's like, she already had her chance. She didn't want to take away the dream from somebody else because Victor isn't hers. So the fact that she made that kind of selfless act really kind of like warmed my heart a bit and and and, and made me kind of feel bad for her a little bit because she... She may have, like, set herself free and set him free. And she was content with being, like, kind of fluttered away, like, to a million butterflies. But I'm just like, damn, I don't know. I Throughout this movie, I was kind of siding with her. I didn't really side with, Vict with Victoria that much. But there was nothing wrong with her. But I'm just saying, just the way the story was kind of progressing, I thought we were going to end with Victor and Emily. But... You know, the way the story, the way it played out, it made sense for Victor and Victoria to kind of be a thing. But I would have preferred, this is me personally, I would have preferred if he wound up with um, Emily. So that's just my thoughts. Uh, rating wise, I was very creative. It was very good. The only thing that's kind of just hindering it is the length. Um, I would have loved to have seen maybe in like another 15 minutes added on to it, flesh out the story, the characters, I don't know, maybe kind of give more musical numbers or something, just kind of, just to kind of fill it out a little bit more. But I don't want it to be like, like, like feel like filler, you know what I mean? But I kind of want more, if that makes sense. But as it is, solid movie, I'd probably give it a solid eight, high eight, something like that. I mean, I would have loved more, but you know, I, I'm glad I've watched the movie. Thank you for the recommendation. Um, you know who you are. So, um, yeah, this is a good Halloween movie. I got a couple of scares out of there. There was some creepy imagery. It was a very perfectly timed movie reaction. So I want to thank you guys out there for supporting the channel. And um, I think I'm just going to end it there. All right, guys. If you guys enjoyed my review, enjoyed my reaction, you guys want to see this video with me in its entirety, that option is available to you right now over on Patreon. Links are in the description down below. Or pin in the top comment. If you can't support me on Patreon, you can always support me right here on YouTube. All you gotta do is drop a like, comment down below, which wants me to react to you next. Subscribe if you haven't already. It's free, and of course, share it with your friends. Helps you, helps me, helps the channel grow. Everybody wins in the end. That being said, I'm gonna catch you guys next time in the next movie reaction. Possibly another Halloween film. Who knows? But till then, adios. And if you like what you saw. Tell your friends, tell your family, tweet about it, and if you didn't like it, shut the fuck up.